I'm honestly really, really excited about this video. This is like all eggs. Okay, hello, welcome. Um, this is dedicated to all the Young Royals fans out there because I just feel like the Young Royals Twitter accounts deserve this and the fandom deserves this. I'm gonna be reacting to random Young Royal tweets. Every single person that tweets anything related to Young Royals or the cast or anything like that is hilarious. I can spend hours on Twitter just going through everybody's tweets. For anyone who's not familiar with the show, it's about a prince that goes to a boarding school and meets this cute little boy and falls in love with him. And it's just painful all around. It's not a good show to watch. You're only preparing yourself for disaster, but it's a really good show. And season two is coming in November and I'm really excited. And I cannot wait. I haven't seen this, these people on my screen for over a year. We're getting hyped for it. The only people that are gonna find this video exciting are the fans of the show because nobody else relates to how stupid we are. Like we're genuinely crazy. The first tweet from Kel, this picture they were at, where were they? They were at the Gay Gala 2022 and Lisa, Queen Lisa, the queen of the story. Somebody screenshotted this picture with Omar looking like a sad little human being and then <laughs> Edvin, oh my gosh, oh, Omar, apologize to him right now. I didn't raise you to act like this. I don't know what it is. It's very funny. This tweet is, I'm gonna give a little bit of context for people who don't understand any of these they get a lot of the same stuff from brands because they're on the same show like clothing accessories blah 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 all that stuff anyways so this tweet is actually like an imaginary scenario where edvin's like can i borrow that lol omar be like not until you return my prada back and edvin continues and says you forgot my birthday technically omar did forget his Edvin's birthday, which was a very sad day for everyone, but we're moving past it. Omar, dot dot dot. Omar, irrelevant. I need my Prada bag. Edvin, just give me the damn shirt. Omar, you already have half the clothes in my closet. WTF. Edvin, he just graduated high school. This person tweeted, can you imagine going to a gala and win some prize and then just get up for school the next day? LMAO. Literally though. Like, the man is living his life. This is Edvin talking about his dog. <laughs> he went to LA for like two weeks because he met up with directors. He met up with directors, this man. He replied to a tweet. He was more excited to see my sister who he had seen two hours earlier, the audacity of this dog. Honestly, my dog doesn't like me either, so I feel your pain. I really do. We're crying over here. This is from the show, one of the pictures that they released for season two. And um, we all hate the queen. Agnes said, why is she so smiley? What's funny? Your son's six feet deep buried in the dirt. <laughs> spoiler alert. That's a spoiler, by the way. For this next one. This person realized that literally Edvin tagged everyone in the pictures except for Omar and this person said Edvin just said I don't know who this Omar Rupert boy is everyone's tagged except for Omar which I didn't understand why he wasn't tagged but he wasn't Edvin's just having a moment and he doesn't want to include his best friend in it it's fine. Another promotional picture for season two. So it's a picture of Wilhelm and Simon in class. And I keep wanting to say Edwin and Omar. I literally cannot see them as their characters anymore. It's so weird to me to just be like, oh, that's Wilhelm. That's not Edwin. It's really weird. So Wilhelm is staring at um, Simon reading a book. And 
this person said, oh, he's so down bad. And someone replied, which one? The one obviously staring or the one pretending to breathe? Skull emoji. Dude, honestly, they're pretty down bad for each other, which I love. They're really cute. One thing I also love, I love it when people look at the more meaningful parts of the show and how detailed everything is. This person said, I used to think that was made to cut his hair to look less like the guy in the video, to look more like Eric, to fit a pre-existing mold, but what if it's the opposite? What if it's all him and his way of showing everyone he's not a kid anymore, he should be taken seriously? So. I love this. One thing, I love his hair in season two. A lot of people didn't want his hair to change. I'm honestly glad they changed it. He looks more mature. He looks more like a young adult. Someone that should be taken seriously. So I totally get this tweet and I understand this tweet. He looks like a child, like a 12 year old child in the first season. Barb tweets. Wilhelm looking for Simon on the first day back to Hileshka in season 2 to say he figured out what he wants. <laughs> and Edmund's reply be like, I was actually trying to find Omar and Nurbo in a crowd of 15,000 people. Hashtag genius. If you just look at the picture and think about the tweet, it makes it so much funnier. <laughs> Eva said, I'm afraid Wilhelm won't be graduating if he keeps this up. The way this man is just staring at Simon and not doing any work literally he has his book open okay and he's just staring at someone else everybody's focused except for him he's making it way too obvious for a kid who didn't spoiler alert for a kid who didn't want people to find out it was him he's making it quite obvious so good luck with that brother this is a random picture of edvin looking like a prince agnes is like me thinking about the emotional damage that is awaiting me once season two drops i feel that which i'm i'm really scared about how the season is gonna end i want to give my idea of how i think the show is gonna end well not the show season two i f if this doesn't end up happening i'm gonna be very sad because I feel like it's like a cliffhanger, but it's not, you know? Um, so they actually do end up together in season two. Well, at the end of season two. And they're both at the palace about to announce their... I want them to like make... To be like, oh, we're going to make an announcement. And what the announcement is going to be is Wilhelm's relationship with Simone. I want them to pretty much be on the literally right behind the balcony the two of them together and the last thing you see is them holding hands and being ready to you know go outside and say hello to everyone that's how i want season two to end and i feel like that would be beautiful i want that to happen so bad imagine if it actually ends up happening and i kind of spoiled the ending of season two this is Barb laughing at Omar TikToks. I'm fascinated how Omar's personality goes from singing sexy songs and being the most stylish person in Sweden to playing League of Legends and recording TikToks about how to clean a garlic press. This man does it all. Also, Barb, I relate to you because you said Omar's TikTok page is literally the only reason I have TikTok and I don't regret it a single bit. I was like, damn. I'm not alone in this. I literally just downloaded TikTok to see what he posts. Okay, this person tweeted best opening scene and it's four pictures of the opening scene of Young Royals. And let me just say this one thing. If I don't enjoy the first 10 minutes of a show or the first, let's say if I want to give it a chance, the first episode of a show, I can't keep watching it. So I, the first time I watched, my mouth was just like, what is happening i was shook this tv show started with this little boy being beaten up by random people in a club hmm. nelly be like the entirety of season two is complete is somewhere out there completely done and we won't be able to see it until november rude 
it is rude. <laughs> Someone replied and was like, who's good at hacking? Let's go. Hannah said, I highly admire the way that young royals titles served a purpose every single episode. It's seamlessly built into each episode rather than having a repetitive obstructive one to the the ongoing visual that's happening behind it somebody replied i agree with this but i wanted to add that the colors also give a hint to what happens in each episode and i didn't think about this actually which there are smarter people out there who actually do focus on like the details i really appreciate when people do that so when i look back i'm like that's actually very interesting. <laughs> Guys, can you believe Young Royals invented Sweden? I gotta be honest, I didn't even think about Sweden for a second until I watched Young Royals and now I want to go to Sweden in November. We'll see. Goalie's waiting for her passport. <laughs> Somebody else says, is that Simone's fourth fish? And it's Edvin looking like a fish. He's a small fish. I mean, like, look at them. I'm so excited. I'm getting so smiley just thinking. <laughs> I'm getting so smiley just thinking about them. They're so cute. It's just like a funny picture, but like, wow. They're beautiful. I'm getting emotional. Okay. This person said, the most heartbreaking thing is that Simone actually would be better off without Villet. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm from Canada. I don't know how to pronounce these names in the correct way that Swedish people do. Would he be though? Yeah, he would actually, which is sad because this man only brings pain into Simone's life, which is very sad to think about. But he also brings a lot of love and a lot of happiness. So actually, no, he wouldn't be better off without Villa. When happiness and pain are from the same person, that's depressing. That's very tricky. <laughs> Agnes said, I need you to deactivate. <laughs> then the person replied, never. <laughs> okay, I didn't screenshot this <laughs> because of the first tweet I screenshotted this because of the reply that the person got so des uh tweeted my friends are like wow young royal season two is out in november we should watch it together ha ah, no bro i have to watch that season alone locked in my room and nobody has to try to talk to me and this person replied y'all have friends that watch it <laughs> because i relate to that none of my friends watch it i literally was only able to get my sister to watch it and the only thing she enjoys about the show is the love story, which is the whole concept of the show is the love story. So I can't talk about this show with any of my friends without them being like, oh my gosh, you again with your young royals. I'm sorry. That's just my reality. Maggie says, no, but here he looks like a five-year-old asking his mom, his mom to buy him candy or a toy with the cutest smile he can do. He looks like a child. I mean, he is a child. He's turning 20, but he's still a child. <laughs> oh, he's a big child. He's a tall child. Bro, he's a child. This person tweeted and was like, I'd rather have the poster than the teaser tomorrow. I don't think I'm ready to see them moving. And I related to this so bad because I'm terrified of seeing them in their characters, being all depressed. You get to know the characters outside of the show and you can't really imagine them back into a character. They're very different. I'm not ready to see them moving and acting. When we get that trailer, I'm gonna freak out, just saying. The same person tweeted, love the fact that we all assume we're getting season two content tomorrow based on absolutely nothing. That's why we're clowns. Oh my God. Guys, when I say this fandom is clowns.com. Alessia says, okay, but the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the pics, so they posted this picture of the two, beauty, gorgeous, and then, Princess and the Pauper. And honestly, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this tweet was, 
I'm just like you, you're just like me. I'm just like you. You are? You're just like me. One of the songs in the movie. Okay, someone tweeted very Prince Wilhelm and his husband Simon Eriksson. Literally, this looks like a picture that's taken of literally a prince and his prince. Like, how? That's so accurate. Kel tweeted, he's only 16 and he's already had a lifetime worth of pain. Spoiler alert, got with someone, lost his brother, broke up with someone, lost his cousin because his cousin is a jerk, and then lost his mom too. That's the life of Wilhelm. Honestly, it's just painful. Someone tweeted, do you know what these three have in common? It's Wilhelm, Simone, and Linus. They haven't done anything wrong in their lives. And I was like, hmm, interesting. And Edmund replied, Linus, Linus? Do you say Linus or Linus? He was like, Linus literally murdered someone. And then I read that and I was like, oh shoot. This man is out here correcting people who are just saying that all three of them are innocent. The person tweeted, I feel like one day Edmund will go on playing like a serial killer or something and people will go, he's just a baby. That's literally what the other tweet was pretty much saying. Someone replied to that tweet and was like, he did nothing wrong, his finger slipped, it's fine. There's honestly, there's more tweets, but for now, this is what we got. Those are all the tweets that I had screenshotted. I have to go pick up my dog. What do you look like? What do you look like? Good boy! It's raining outside. <gasps> oh, you look so fluffy, boy. And he's at his window. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool little baby.